What's up everybody? Playing some Destiny, doing some raiding on the Vault of Glass. In this video I'm going to show you how to defeat Atheon by pushing him off the edge. There's that big asshole right there. He is the final boss in the Vault of Glass. Now for this we are using a full fire team of six. Three of us ran forward. They are the bait team. Those are the people that are going to be shooting at Atheon in the beginning as they want to lead him close to the left hand side, get him close to the edge, while the other three are going to be teleported to deal with the relic and the oracles. Now for the three that are teleported on the relic team, one of you is going to grab the relic, run down to the bottom of the stairs and focus on the enemies that are down there. The other two are going to be focusing on the oracles. Remember to take cover though if you're focusing on the oracles because there are snipers. Once that person with the relic has defeated all the enemies, they're going to come back to where the other two are and cleanse them. Now if you have the relic and you're wondering what buttons do what, if you jump in the air and hit R2, you'll come down with a pretty powerful smash attack that works it has uh, a little bit of area of damage so you don't have to hit directly where the enemies are R1 does uh, melee attack and L1 is going to be your cleansing button once all the enemies and the oracles have been killed the person with the relic is just going to continually cleanse the other two people because you're going to be constantly marked if you don't cleanse right away, you will go blind, so make sure that person with the relic is doing their job. Guys are just going to chill out and wait for the other three to finish off Atheon by pushing him off the edge. Here's a little example of what it looks like if you're not cleansed. Your screen just continuously goes dark on you until there's nothing at all and you're completely blind. Now the two that are shooting the oracles should stay together. It makes it easier for the person with the relic to come and cleanse. Alright, now let's take a look at the bait and push team. At the start they're going to want to run up to where Atheon is spawning in. Stay to the left hand side. It is easier to get him over there to fall off the edge. Once you reach the top of the stairs you're just going to want to spray him with a few rounds. Get his attention back on you and have him walk up towards where you are. Stay around these pillars, it's always good to take cover from him, his hits are pretty deadly. You don't want to get too close to him either, he does do a stomp move that will take you out in one hit. Now these people over here want to focus on getting Atheon to freeze in his teleport move close to the edge. If he's not close to the edge though, no worries, it can be pulled off pretty much wherever Atheon is, but the closer to the edge the better. And once Atheon freezes, the people that are doing the push are just going to basically chill out and wait for the Oracle team to do their job. Once they're done, you're basically going to have full supers constantly, your grenades are going to constantly recharge, and that's what you're going to need to take out Atheon. It's best to do this with Warlocks, but you can do it with any class as long as you have Pulse Grenades. Now you're just going to light up grenades and supers at Atheon's feet and just get him to continuously walk backwards. The Void damage and the Pulse damage, he doesn't want any part of that, so he just backs away from it. As you can see, it's as easy as that. That asshole did not like taking that damage and just walks himself right off the cliff. Now if you wouldn't mind and you'd be so kind, just hit that like button up there, subscribe if you haven't already, share this video with your friends, I'd greatly appreciate it. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a special shout out and thank you to Retz042005, ViciousMe211, Reign of Brains, Adam2254, Sonosuke68, and Prophet Ma Div. Thanks guys, couldn't have done it without you. And thank you guys for watching. Talk to you next time.